Well, hello again. This is a, a video of the Ford 240 uh, disc harrow. Now this toy, again, was engineered, reverse engineered to 116 scale. Uh, it was originally built by White Farm Equipment Company in the 1960s as the model uh, 252, first under the Oliver and Cockshot brands, then under the White brand only after about 1974. White built this disc for Ford under contract between 1976 and 1986, a good long production run. Now this replica here is of the 12 foot version circa 1979, and it consists of 445 individual pieces made from brass. There's copper in this as well and aluminum, and it was completed in uh, 2022. Now this is a prototype of a series of limited toys that were built at this time. And, uh, there's a, this, the prototype was built without wings. Uh, the others were built with wings, and I have one in my collection, the Oliver version, which I'll uh, make a video of here. But this was a, an intricate design of a disc, as you could tell by all the angle iron that's used in the build. And I will move it around a bit here for you. Again, being a prototype, it does have my uh, signature slow moving sign. Uh, you can see here, one of the interesting things I, I developed and came up with, these had rubber handles on the adjustment uh, uh, bars here. That's shrink wrapping, electrical shrink wrapping, and it, and, and it mimics the color of the real ones very, very closely. Uh, it's fully working. The locking bar comes up. That swings down, as you can tell here. And you can adjust the gangs underneath as well. In my collection, I have this set up with an Oliver 1855, circa 1973 tractor uh because this this toy is kind of close to my heart my dad had this one uh as a beef uh, farmer in northeastern ontario uh before the big uh farming uh recession of the early 80s with high interest rates and he bought this brand new and this was kind of my job this is we would go out to, uh, and and uh, every spring and have to disc uh heavy clay in that region so these were notch blades up front and and smooth in the back uh, this is a pretty good disc. Uh, I mean, I think the production run and how many were built uh, by White uh, under you know, the Cockshut, White, Oliver, and Ford color speaks to this. Interestingly, the White version of this you could buy with wings. The Ford version of this you could not. There was no wings available uh, with the Ford 240, but there was on the Olivers, uh, Whites, and Cockshut 252s. Uh, there is one other one of one Ford identical to this that's here in Canada uh, and a fellow collector or also originally from northeastern Ontario. And there is a cock shut that's here in Canada and the white version, which is quite nice, actually. That's in a big collection in the United States. Uh, this, again, is, is a prototype because of the uh, very detailed work that went to building the gang piece as well as the uh all the adjustable bars that that move your hitch your gang angle that went into this design uh i uh this one here i say is 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 uh close to my heart if you could even tell off the back here hopefully i mean you'll turn it a bit more yeah you can see it there there's a hitch uh when at the time we did your finishing we the head the soil was so heavy where we farmed that uh, that you would have to go with the furrow just to break it up and against the furrow. And uh, to prepare for seed bed, we actually had to put a harrow, a drag harrow behind it, hooked to this hitch here. And behind that, a great big I-beam to level it out. It was pretty rustic country, but it was beef farming and the land was okay in areas. And uh, But the folks back then did what they could until unfortunately the big, the big crash happened in the early 80s with the commodities and, and beef farming was severely hit in Canada and I in different parts of North America. Uh, so when I built this, this was built with uh, a bit more, uh, uh, how would I say, uh, uh, emotional attachment to it. Because I, I, as a teenager, this was my job in the spring. And, and I have it hooked up to an Oliver 1855 in my collection, I think. I'm going to probably hook it up just for aesthetic reasons to a 48,000. There's a nice one by Scale Models, circa 2009, that came out with a wide front end. I like to put that in my collection, but they're a bit harder to find, so maybe I'll, I'll find one in the U.S. here in, in due course. 
Um, I'll stop my video here, but you can just see how many angles and and channels that were used in the build of this design. I th originally, uh, this was a an Oliver disc. I think the Oliver company invented this and came up with it. And of course, White bought uh, bought them all out and merged them together. But if you consider the length of time and the years that this was built, it was a very, very successful design. And uh, so we had it and we never had a problem. There was never a break. There was never a bearing issue. And we used it in very tough conditions. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I have to admit, I, I enjoyed making this toy. It's I enjoy making all my toys, but when you make one that you used yourself, it's just that added bit. And uh, by the way, I would normally have a turntable here to move it around but in my limited space in my lighting conditions and a bit of a noise that a turntable makes in the background i i decided not to uh, use it and i just used my hand to move it around so hopefully i've given you a pretty good uh, set of different angles of, of this toy and what it looks like uh, thank you very much and until next time